Well, good morning and welcome to uh, the fourth Sunday in August already and uh, we're going to uh, do some different things today. We've got a couple of experiments that we're going to do uh, and uh, the main thing we're going to think about is what are we building our lives on? Uh, and it's really important stuff what we're thinking about today um, and Jesus told the story that we're going to hear uh, in a little bit uh, at the end of lots of stories and Jesus is, is basically saying you know are you listening are you listening to what I'm saying and are you going to follow are you going to base your life upon what I'm saying so that's what Jesus was saying anyway I think it'd be good to go and see the first experiment and see what that's going to be so I'll hand over to Andy who's going to do that for us well, good morning. I'm outside and I thought I'd do a little bit of an experiment. I've got a real solid block here uh, over this side, but this side I've got some sharp sand. Uh, and I thought I'd just uh, finish filling this uh, box uh, up and um, put, yeah, that's looking better. Uh, I thought I'd uh, do an experiment of what's the best to build on. So let me, uh, let me just get that looking fairly flat making a sandcastle basically and let's see if I can get that to spin around probably not but we'll give it a go oh that's not too bad I don't think give it a tap Wow, that's not bad at all is it give that a pat down there we go so we got one block a uh, solid concrete block and one solid sand block Right, let's get rid of those. And what I'm going to do is I've got all this uh, kind of Lego stuff uh, and I'm going to build a tower on each uh, and then we're going to have um, some water added and see what happens. So, uh, so that's it for now. I'm going to build the towers and you can come back and see what it looks like. All right, so bye for now. Wow, that's exciting, isn't it? We'll uh, see what happens uh, a little bit later on. Well, anyway, I think it's time for the story. So we're going to hand over to Joshua and Grace, who are going to do that for us today. The wise and foolish builders. One day, Jesus was teaching us about how important it is to listen to what he says and build our lives on his teaching. To help us understand, he told this parable. There were two men, and both were building their own houses. One man was a wise man. He thought carefully about his house and built his house on a solid rock. But one day a great storm came, and the rain just kept pouring. The wind just kept getting stronger and stronger, and there was so much rain that everywhere became to flood. And as the winds blew and the rain fell down, as the waves of the flood got bigger and bigger, the wise man saw that his house stood firm because it was built on a rock. The other man was a foolish man. He just wanted to get on and build his house. So he found a sandy area and he's, he built his house on the sand. No rock, no foundations or anything. But one day a great storm came and the rain just kept on pouring, the wind just kept on getting stronger and stronger. And there was so much rain that everywhere became to flood. And as the wind blew and the rain fell down, as the waves of the flood got bigger and bigger, the foolish man saw his house had fallen down with a great big crash. It was all built on soft sand. So Jesus so Jesus says, anyone who doesn't follow his words and teaching is like the foolish man who built his house on soft sand. But anyone who builds their, their lives on these words is like the wise man who built his house. Okay, that's great. A story about two builders from a building site. Uh, that was great. Thank you uh, for doing that. Uh, and talking about buildings, I wonder how the experiment's going and how Andy's getting on uh, with that. So let's head back there and see what's happening. 
Hey, welcome back. Look, I've made two towers and uh, they're quite high, actually higher than I thought they were going to be. And I thought what I'd do is I'd just add a person in. So uh, says pop a little person, that one. And a little, oh, neither not that over then. A little person on that one. There we go. So there we go. Got a little person on each. And then maybe a little window. Uh, let's pop a little window in. There we go, that's that one, and we'll pop one over over on that one as well. There we go. So they've got a little window and a little person, uh, so that's ready. So the next thing, I'm going to get the water ready, uh, and we're going to have a flood, and we're going to see what happens. Remember, this one's on uh, rock, and this one's on sand. So, uh, so they have, a, have a think. What do you think is going to happen? And uh, let's, yeah, let's get ready to uh, to do that. So next time, water. Okay. Wow, that's uh, that's ready to test then. So we're going to do that in a little bit. Let me just tell you before we do the test, um, just a little bit about the story, uh, and then we'll go and test those foundations out. So Jesus is telling this story uh, about the two different ways that we can build our lives. Either we build them on the words of Jesus, upon Jesus, uh, or we don't. There's only two options. Either we build them on Jesus, or, or we don't. Uh, and you see, Jesus came from heaven to earth to to live as God on earth, as God in human flesh. And so when Jesus speaks, uh, it's like we're hearing God speaking. And uh, his friend John, uh, the Apostle John, called him the Word. And uh, that's very much who Jesus is. And as Jesus spoke when he was here on earth, he revealed that we need him. We need a saviour. That's why he'd come, because of our sin, because of the wrong that we do, uh, that separates us from God. Jesus had come to sort that out, to pay for our sin on the cross, so that when we trust that that's what Jesus was doing, and we open our lives to him, and we allow him in, uh, then uh, we're made right with God, and that is us building our lives on the rock, on the words of Jesus, and on Jesus. And the key thing here is what Jesus is saying is we need to listen to his words and then we need to take action. So we need to listen and then we need to build our lives upon his words. And if we don't do that, then we're like the foolish person who we might listen a little bit, but if we don't take any action, then we're like the foolish person building our, our lives, uh, our life upon sand. And so let's have a go back to the experiments and see what happens whether we build our life on the rock or whether we build our life on sand. Wow, welcome back. I've got the hose pipe ready and I've got the, the wise man building his house upon the rock and the foolish man building his house upon the sand uh, and we're going to test out and see what happens. So I'm just going to move the chair and I'm going to move back and I'm going to start the hose pipe. Right, here we go. Start that over the side, get a nice flow and let's see what happens as the water starts to land on here. Oh, if I come round this way Oh, you can see the rocks firm, isn't it? But look at that sand as it starts to... Oh, goodness, oh no, look, it's starting to go, isn't it? The sand's disappearing. Oh, no! Oh, wow, oh, the house is starting to move. Oh, no! Oh, disaster! Disaster! Look, it's all gone, it's all collapsed. Well, well, there you go. Back to you. Back to you. Wow, that came down with a crash, didn't it? What a, what a disaster for the foolish man who kind of rushed, hadn't put foundations in, hadn't got something solid, uh, and, and had built his life upon sand. Uh, and it collapsed, didn't it? And that's so, that, you know, that means it's so important for us to think about what are we building our lives upon or who are we building our lives upon. Just for a little bit, we're gonna have a look at some uh, a cement mixer uh, that's pouring some concrete uh, into, uh, ready for a house to be built. So let's just watch that for a little bit uh, and let's see the, how you put foundations down properly. Thank you. 
Wow, when that concrete has set solid as it will, that's going to be a, a really firm foundation uh, for the building of that house. Uh, and uh, so why don't we uh, head back to uh, Joshua and Grace and we're going to have the Bible reading for today. So thank you. The reading we'll be reading today is Matthew chapter 7, verse 24 to 28. The wise and the foolish builders. Therefore everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew, and and beat against your house, yet it did not fall because it had its foundations on the rock. But everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a fool, foolish man who builds his hand on who builds his house on sand. The rain came down and streams rose up and the wind blew and beat against his house and it fell with a great crash. When Jesus had finished saying these words Wow, thank you for that Bible reading, that was great. Um, there's a song that uh, you may have heard uh, that, uh, that's got the line uh, that starts with the words, My hope is built. Uh, and uh, it's got the chorus, On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. And I've got another experiment. Uh, and this is um, meant to be like the rock, so that's in there. And then this one, as you can see, has got the sand in. And uh, so we've got, I've got a little house here uh, that I'm going to pop on there. Um, but I just need to finish the other one off to uh, to go on there. Um, but what, so that's, we, let me do that. So what, what Jesus is saying, there we are just doing the door, uh, what Jesus is saying is about he wants us to build our lives on him, that he's like that solid rock, that we can trust him, that he tells the truth, uh, and that we can do that, and that we can be safe and secure in him. Um, so, uh, so let's put a letterbox and a little handle, and then let's put some windows. There's one, there's two, and let's have another one up there. What's oh, a bigger window, that one? There we go. The pen slipped a little. There we go, so that's the third one. So, what Jesus is saying is there's lots of things that you can build your lives upon, but if you don't build them on him, the rock, then everything else that we could build our lives upon is like uh, sinking sand. So let me uh, let me do this one first and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop that on there uh, and then I'm going to add some water. So here we go. Oh, so there we go. So that's that sitting on there in the water. That's it. That's great. Right, I'm going to have someone just hold that for me temporarily um, and then I'm going to do this. Now what I want you to think about is that these houses could be like you because Jesus is basically saying that your house is a little bit like you uh, and uh, so you can see this as two houses or you can see this as two people. Uh, one built on Jesus the rock and one built on sinking sand and the Bible talks about our need of someone who um, can save us, uh, like this solid rock. Jesus came to save us from sin. Uh, um, God loves us, but he can't look upon the sin that's in our lives. And the way that God deals with sin is, at the end of our lives, there's, there's judgment. And it's not a very nice thing to think about, but that's what the Bible uh, says. And either at the end of our lives that our sin has been taken uh, by Jesus, and so there's no need uh, for punishment from God, or our sin hasn't been taken because we're not trusting in Jesus for that. And then that judgment comes upon us. And the difference is, is that if Jesus has taken our sin and we're all clean in God's sight, then we can go into heaven and be in, with God in heaven forever. Uh, if not, 
then I'm afraid the Bible says that we will go uh, to a place where God isn't, uh, that the Bible calls hell. Uh, and that's where the devil and his angels uh, will be too. And so not a very nice place to go at all. So it's really, really important to think about what you're building your life upon, whether it's the rock that leads to heaven or whether it's uh, sinking sand uh, that leads to hell. So let me just uh, pop that in there and let me add this in. I try not to spill it everywhere. And there we go. So that's that. So let's see uh, let's see uh, what happens over a bit of time. So God loves us so much that he wants us to go to, uh, to heaven, uh, to be with him. But unless we listen to Jesus and listen to his words uh, and accept what he did for us on the cross, then the Bible is clear that we won't be in heaven when we die. So, can you see what's happening? Can you see what's happening? That one's getting short, isn't it? It's sinking. Sinking into the sand. That's what that story said, isn't it? That's what the song said. So the question is, this morning, is is your life built upon the rock? Is it built upon Jesus? Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. No one. No one can come to God except through Jesus. To build on the rock means that we're safe, that we're secure. When the storms come, we know that we're in Jesus. And whatever life throws at us, we know we're safe and we're secure in him. But what about the sand? Well, you can see that this is slowly sinking, slowly sinking down. And, you know, we're... We're safe and secure if we're on the rock, but we're not if we're not in Jesus. And before our life runs out, we need to make that decision. Are we going to be on Jesus or are we going to be sinking in sinking sand? Everyone builds their life on something. What are you trusting in? What are you building your life upon? And I hope and I pray that you would be the wise man and build your house upon Jesus, upon his words, upon the word of God, that you wouldn't be like the foolish man that builds his house on sand that sinks and one day at the end of his life he'll realise that there's nothing there, there's no foundation uh, and, uh, and he won't be with God forever. So, uh, so I'm going to pray as we bring this to a close. Father God, thank you for your love for us. Thank you for Jesus, who is the rock, the one who can save us, the words that we can trust, the one who is the way, the truth and the life. Lord, would you help us to build our lives upon him? And Lord, would you uh, help us to be like that wise man, to listen to your word and to obey your word and to live our life with you and for you. And I pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Well, I hope you found that uh, interesting and helpful and challenging too, that we build our lives on something that will last for all eternity. Well, thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.